Just, uh... I'm dead. I am mind flooded to hell! Ah, that's a bummer. That's a darn shame, isn't it? That's a darn shame, but I'm sure we can make it work this time around. Surely, Copium, surely. God, am I glad I didn't waste any of my precious Banshee on that run yet. That would have been, that would have been nasty. As that's the problem with, uh, with playing these, these harder characters, is I'm always terrified to, to start any form of, uh, discussion or anything like that, because what if I die and then it's prematurely gone? Mm, Iron Bar could be okay, but maybe I can do better. Like, as much as I wouldn't mind a damage upgrade. You know, uh, soul came me here. Well, at least I found the secret room. That's pretty nice. Let's check up here first. It's not here either. Crying shame, really. A crying shame. Let's check the secret room first before I go into my room, because there could have been an item in here that I could have re-rolled. I should blow up all those mushrooms, though. I got a lot of bombs. Anyway, what are you? Did I'll take Evil Eye. Honestly, I'll take Evil Eye. Evil Eye does some crazy stuff sometimes. <laughs> maybe I, uh, will make it- Okay, too bad I did go pretty far in that last round, but maybe I'll actually, like, win a last round for once. Wait, is this an XL floor? I'll take sulfuric acid. I didn't know this was an XL floor, I didn't even pay attention. Earthright again, okay. Had that on the last run. Uh, that's nice. That's a good start, okay. That's gonna make my rerolls a whole lot better. That's for sure. Let's, uh, fight the boss then. It is Little Horn. It's the- the shadow one. This one doesn't spawn bombs, I'm pretty sure. He just spawns balls. He's a, he's a bit of a baller. Wait, I got magic much for this room from Liberty Cap? That's crazy. I just noticed, like, I'm so large. Two shotting your balls. How does that feel? Uh, I mean, don't I don't answer, actually. I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know whether you enjoy that or not. Yeah, sure, I'll take. I'll take Roid Rage. Okay, another tears up is great. I'll peep the devil deal, but I'll only take anything if it's massively great. Io Belial is on that scale of being amazingly good. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Screw it. Screw the angel deals. What have they ever done for me anyway? Maybe I'll just find duality and still get angel deals. Maybe I'll get uh, some way to get angel deal chances like, I don't know, Book of Virtues. There's there's ways. There's ways. Well, yeah, that's going to be a damage up probably. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Although with my shot speed, obviously, Iobalao is going to be a bit less good. But still, it's totally fine. Look at that piercing. Look at that damage. It's so nice. Just having piercing is so good. Gotta be one of my favorite tier effects, if not the best one. Okay, my favorite. It's 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 actually just that good. The fact that it becomes like homing afterwards and stuff is just a bonus. It's just it's just like a like an extra little a little bit of salt on top, a little bit of seasoning, you know? What do we got in here? Mm, yeah, it's a tears up. Will I keep Liberty Cap on me, or will I keep the Mysterious Paper as an insurance? I'll take the Liberty Cap. In case it gives me magic mush, that's basically insurance as well for that room. What do we got in the item room? Roll me. Uh, thankfully, I'm likely to get more rolls, so it's not that big of a problem. Plus, I got a ton of money on this floor as well. What the hell? Let's do the boss first. You can do nothing to me. I got piercing and homing, thanks to Iobalile. Like, the two best tier effects in the game stacked into one item. <laughs> it's it's so over, man. Sty is good. I'll just take it. Let's roll this again. Boom. Nope, I don't need that. What do we got in the shop? I got a lot of money. Restock's great. Dude, if I can find Pound of Flesh now, this is gonna be a crazy run. What the hell? Restock Pound of Flesh, is, it's a synergy I've never had. Because I tend to forget about the fact that you can just abuse the game with those two items as the lost. Boom. Stitches is great! Unfortunately, we can do better. Makes me so much happier that I picked up Roid Rage. Got that little bit of speed up. Makes this backtracking take less time. I can do better than Lil Gertie. <laughs> he doesn't even count towards conjoin, man. I hate how they're so picky about which familiars count towards conjoin and which don't. I wish it weren't th it weren't so. Boom. Speaking of familiars that don't really do anything, huh? No, Fate's Reward isn't terrible, but yeah. Clog is like the one of the tankiest, like, basement tier bosses, dude. And I'm just destroying his ass. Alright, let's roll this again. Boom, okay, it's gone. Cool. There was actually, okay, let's re-roll the item room here then. Roll me, ugh. Fine, I'll go for another one. I'll go for another roll. Because what if it turns into... I don't know, soy milk? Uh, Eden's Blessing is good as well. I, I don't know why soy milk was on my mind, I was just like, oh, that would be kind of fun. Like, uh... A ton of homing, like, soy milk piercing tears. That could be kind of funny. Eden's Blessing is good. Paying it forward and all that. Um, next floor. I don't know why I keep going to the damn ash pit. It always gets me messed up, but... Here we are anyway. I need to be careful, but I want to shoot these mushrooms. Tears down. Didn't even matter. Thank God, it didn't have any impact on me. That's another syringe. I kind of have to take it. Speed and damage down. Honestly acceptable. The damage down hurts a little bit, but the tears up is tremendous, and the speed down isn't all that bad. It, it's not Gideon, that's good. It's the pile. Your ads are gonna be nothing to me. Oh, I gotta be careful. This guy can be an asshole. 
Thank god that attack can't do anything to me. I would have died there if I couldn't fly, if I wasn't the last right now. I think they made this attack less annoying. It used to be way quicker. Like, you, sh you, you used to shoot way sooner after doing that. After, like, going underground and stuff. He doesn't shoot anywhere nearly as soon after coming up. Which is nice. It used to be a lot worse. Contract is nice. Matter of fact, I'll just take it. I'm committed to devil deals anyway. Roll this. Okay, we can do better than that. I don't need money. <laughs> Come on. I'm I'm, pretty, I'm doing pretty fine on money right now. I appreciate the offer though, game. Uh, it's it's kind of you, I guess. I like that you're looking out for me. Let's say it like that. Boom. Yeah, okay, it's a tears up. I don't think it's going to do anything for me, actually. It's just a shot speed up. But it uh, insulates me against tears down pills going forward or something like that, maybe. That's a great item, especially considering I have uh, perfection. Hot diggity dog. I haven't heard anybody say that expression in a while. I think I just like brought that back single-handedly. It's, it's spun. I gotta take it. I haven't gotten any other good syringes. That's just nasty. Why would you spawn on top of me like that? Whoa, brother. Why are you like this? Okay. Whew. Shop uh, store key. It's an interesting trinket, for sure. Unfortunately, I'm married to perfection. And you can't take me away from her. She's mine. Yeah, I'm kind of shredding a little bit, huh? Little Horn is doing a lot of lifting, obviously. But, like, the tear rate is especially nasty, too. Sure, I'll take Broken Watch. What's the worst that can happen? They both disappeared, really? I should've just kept buying. <laughs> I should've just kept buying. It's not Gideon again. Can you believe it? I did like an entire Mind Slash Ash Pit without fighting Gideon. That's kind of like un unheard of almost. You're Like I thought you were like guaranteed to fight Gideon. There was like a clause in the, like a, a part in the code where they're like guaranteed to fight Gideon on uh, Ultoth, no matter what. Oh, baby. Hello there, ink you buddy. Okay, all right, we're cooking, dude. We got something going on. This is lovely. I ain't even seen my item room on this floor yet either. Uh, I could make you pay out, but it's so unlikely. It's so unlikely. Okay, the amount of tears I'm shitting out is starting to get a little absurd. Roll me. Okay, well, I guess we're taking sack of pennies. It's all I can, all I can get. Here's a funny story. Earlier today, when I went downstairs, just to, like go to the kitchen, I saw that my mom was watching TV and there was like some report on on TV about, I don't know which city, but like some city council here in Germany thought it was, would be a great idea to like make those bicycle racks, you know, the, the ones that like you have all over cities where like people can, well, lock up their bicycles next to them and all that stuff. They thought it would be a nice idea to have those be quote unquote removable. So anybody can just pick them up and, uh, you know, to pick them out of the ground so they can instead park their car there. Now on, on that, on those grounds, not necessarily a terrible idea. The problem is, yeah, anybody can remove them. And it doesn't matter if there's a bike currently tied to it or not. So basically, if you're tying your bike next to this or up to one of these, you might as well not be uh, locking it up to anything. <laughs> you could just leave it leaning next to a tree or a fence uh, with absolutely no lock because it would virtually make no difference. I thought that was pretty funny. I don't know what they were thinking to have those things be removable by anybody. I understand having them be removable uh, because at the very least... Ah, uh, man, Miko would have been nice. At the very least... The, you know, the city could be like, oh yeah, we can be like flexible. Maybe people are planning to have a celebration in this uh, part of town and then we're gonna have some more parking spots or something like that. That's fair. Yeah, like make it so that those things are like only removable via like a special tool or something instead of anybody that decides to just lift them out of the ground. <laughs> That's really funny. I don't know what the city planners were thinking, but I honestly, I don't think they were thinking. They were probably not. Otherwise, they would have thought about this. So basically, those things are completely and utterly useless for their intended purpose. Which means now their only purpose is, uh, I guess, just like waste parking spaces until like somebody gets out of their car and decides to pick them up so they can have, uh, they can park their car there. Very funny. Urban planning, everybody. Urban planning in, in the EU, in Europe. Oh, wow. A shop with a restock machine? I should just buy this because it's on sale. I'll just keep buying them because they're on sale. And then I can re-roll. Go crazy with it. All right. I mean, I wouldn't mind PhD, but it's a bit expensive. It's a bit pricey. It's a bit pricey, in it? I need a bit more money. Okay. Well, we can afford PhD. There you go. <laughs> uh, let's kill whoever this is. Probably Siren. Hey, I, I called it. I called it right. I'm surprised I didn't get hit by that attack. I definitely feel like I should have been. Speaking of attacks, I definitely should be getting hit by him, but I'm somehow not because I guess her pattern is the same every time. I'm going to need you to die, please. Thank you. Let's see what we got in here. Money equals power is pretty interesting, uh, but I can do better. Mm, I don't want to get rid of Incubus, so Sack Alter isn't worth it. Pick this up for Leviathan. I can reroll that though. I don't need the speed or the size down. I mean, the pill would be good, but still. Ah, 
Forgot about this guy. Thank God for the mantle, right? Jesus. I feel like this is, it's gonna go unsung for this run as well. Birthright has been doing a ton of heavy lifting here. Just in terms of like how many bad items it's been cycling out. Sure, I don't, I can't get tears, but I'm also, I can't be RC backtrack anymore. If I ever get an item that like multiplies my tears, like my tier stat, it's gonna go nuts. If I get like almond milk or something like that. Hey. Oh, cool. Please drop a item somehow. Wishful thinking, I guess. Wishful thinking. What do we have in here? Oh, dude. I got Stai and this? Yeah, man, that's great. Plus, with my tier rate, I feel like we might be staring down, like, some nasty damage here. The higher your tier rate, the more you benefit from Stai or Blood Clot, so... I hate this guy. Siren is so much easier in comparison. Okay. Phew. Man, what I wouldn't give for, like, some more survivability, though, now. Like, just an extra life or something like that would put me at so much ease for this run. Given my track record, this run can still end very easily, and I would hate that. Marked is cool. You know what? I haven't had a pure marked run in a while. I mean, I had it, like, somewhat recently, right, on that uh, run where I was, like, rerolling a bunch, I think. But let's go with marked and, like, have some mouse aiming. It's been a while since I've, uh, really done any of that. Any of that stuff. You're actually gonna give me a normal shop and it's got member card in it? That's kind of crazy. What the heck? Eucharist? I want that. I want that so bad, actually. What the hell? I'm sorry, donation machine, but I want Eucharist. Oh, hello. That'll make it easy. Yeah. That'll make it very easy to get, actually. Huge news. It's gonna be only angel items on that pedestal, huh? That's potentially great. Uh, let's see if I can get some more money going. Maybe re-roll that a bit. Who knows? I guess the fact that the mouse aiming is only so good with Mark, because the reticle cannot, like, move that quickly, right? It takes a while to actually move somewhere. But still, it's kind of fun to use. I'll buy this and, uh... Oh, you know what? That's gonna improve my Incubus like crazy. Yep, okay, that's gonna buff him up a whole lot. I am- I am all for that. BFFs with Incubus? Now we're talking, alright! And we got a charge ready as well. Mom, I got bad news for you, you're gonna die like instantly. Yep, that was, uh, pretty darn fast. <laughs> okay, Angel Deal. Oh, it's so good, dude! With my luck stat? Oh my god, brother! Oh my god! I'm so happy about this information. More damage never hurt nobody. God, I'm shredding. I'm actually destroying. Nothing can stand in my way anymore. Holy crap, I am become god creator and destroyer of worlds. To be fair, a lot of my damage right now is red stew. That's gonna wear off eventually, but it's gonna take a while. And while it's around, oh boy, <laughs> oh boy is it great. Yeah, that was an insanely fast mom's hard fight. I don't know what to say about it, man. Uh, Revelation ain't even that interesting to me, brother. Roll me. All right, sure, Purity, please be a good aura. It seems to have given me the damage aura. Yes, it has. Cool, now the tears up, that'll do nothing for me. <laughs> How far can you go beyond the limit? For sure, yeah, there goes my red stew. I'm still at 12 damage, even with the red stew running out. That's kind of crazy. It's kind of nuts. I also forgot that Eucharist keeps angel deals open, so I theoretically could have rerolled that even more uh, than just settling for Purity, but, you know. Uh, purity ended up being pretty good because I got the damage aura. You know what's also funny? Here's another story about my retiree dad. Naturally, you know, he needs hobbies and ways to keep himself busy. Lately, he's gotten onto this train, I guess because YouTube has recommended him random videos, and he's gotten onto this train of quote-unquote free energy devices. Basically, the videos are always made by some, like, Russian or Turkish dudes or whatever that, like, jerry-rig an electric motor to, like, a, a copper coil and some magnets, and then somehow, you know, the magnets create more energy that is needed to move the- to make, like, the magnetic coil spin or whatever. Effectively generating free energy. Now, every, anybody who's ever taken a physics class will tell you that that's probably not possible. And I- I'll only believe it when I see it, but obviously he's been on a train of like, oh, I should try building something like that. And he's been, like, going on eBay and, like, trying to disassemble old, like, machines and stuff. Like, he disassembled our old, like, little shitty ass lawnmower recently just earlier today he was he asked me about like hey do you know where like this old power bank of ours is that was kind of like swollen up a little busted i could i could really use the circuit board in that because i saw a video where somebody jerry rigged one of those magnet motors to a power bank to basically give themselves free charge on their phone and i was like i don't know where it is trying to hold back the urge of calling him an idiot but you know I would never call my dad an idiot. Look, it's just a little hobby thing. It's not like he's, you know, wasting all of his retirement fund or anything on that. But I just think it's funny how he, being a very technically inclined person, like he's, he's quite the handyman. He's, he's he's very crafty. He's got an entire workshop full of stuff, right? He's, he's, he's good at like DIY stuff. He's good at doing a lot of stuff. He like basically built our entire porch all, the, all by himself. All the brickwork, our entire like, like freaking driveway. He basically did all the brickwork for that by himself. He's, he's a, wow, okay, Brim. 
He's a very talented fellow. He's, he's a very smart fellow. Brim works with uh, aiming. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Unfortunately, I lose out on my cool piercing tears, but honestly, I think that's fine. But yeah, I find it funny how my dad is uh, on that train now, and I'm always like, uh, I'll believe it when I see it. Just, uh, you know, show me what you got, I guess. Maybe something will come of it. Maybe, maybe it does work. Who knows? And if it does, then you'll know because I'll be assassinated by the government, by the way. We're very close to conjoined, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I need one more piece. Oh my god, the damage output. Little Dumpy and Belly Jelly? I was asking for defensive items, thank you! These are both tremendous! Yeah, the- This is where- Oh my god. This is where the contract from below payoff really starts happening. Fine, I'll take Linger Bean. Emolacria being a little- a little goofy item here, huh? I think homing would really go a long way now, because the fire rate is terrible. Ah, uh, let's kill the Lamb real quick, why not? Just leave the reticle in the center, basically, or like on top of it. It's gonna get hit by the random tears. Eventually the beams. Like having piercing with Hemolacria right now, the, the range I got is actually kind of a bad thing, huh? I'm not really like hidden. I'm not really hitting the boss all that much. But once those beams connect or something, oh baby. Oh baby, are we going? I'm pretty sure. Wait, doesn't 14 luck? Isn't that where the, the holy light caps out? Or was that 9 luck? I never remember, man. I always forget which which tier effect caps out at which luck value. It doesn't really matter. We're already shooting enough holy lights as is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why am I getting all these good items all of a sudden? What the hell? Also, I'm gonna save the game real quick just in case um, Parasite Hemolacria decides to be funky <laughs> and wants to crash my game. It's uh, any, like, once you start picking up multiple tier splitters, that's when it starts getting a bit dangerous, right? That's when you get into the territory of, oh, my game could crash here. Oh my god, what the fuck? I am speechless. Mouth agape. That was incredible. It's still going somewhere off screen, apparently. Th that's. Wow. Um, yeah. I'm gonna shoot once and then just like forget about it. That's so cool. What the hell? Oh, there's conjoined. Let's make it worse. That's so cool. What the hell? It's like I'm, I'm actually like at a damn like laser show. Like I'm at a concert or something. What the hell? By the way, epilepsy warning. Um, I'll probably put it in editing if I think about it, if I remember. Jesus Christ, that's so cool. Curse Eye does nothing for me. I'll take Toxic Shock though, that's gonna be huge. That means I don't have to shoot, which means I reduce the risk of uh, crashing my game. That's <laughs> so cool! <laughs> the way they like flash around so much is so cool. Also, it lags my game so much. It's crazy. It's crazy, bro. This is such a cool looking fucking- What the hell, dude? Oh my god. I love this. Anyway, Mega Satan stands no damn chance. I got a strength card for this too. That's another plus 10 damage just casually on top of it. This guy is like Omega dead. Yep. I'm not even gonna like move my reticle. I'm just gonna keep shooting. Like everything will die in the room anyway. If I die in this fight, I honestly like whatever. It'll happen. Or if it happens, it happens. It's no big deal. This is just like a cool ass like laser show. I don't know how the bitrate is gonna handle this one. I feel like I can like, I can like hear my hard drive cry as the the file size of the recording is increasing because there's so much going on i should really stop shooting for a second so like his face transition happens quicker that being said there's so much shit already on the screen it doesn't really matter and he is so dead he is so unbelievably dead wow and i get to do the void you damn well know i will now if i imagine if i get homing it would go crazy honestly i don't think i'm gonna shoot when i enter rooms i'll just let uh, Toxic Shock do all the work, unless I fight a boss, obviously, in which case I gotta shoot at like, least once. I shoot like one tier in the room and like everything just disappears. Oh, there's a Leer, okay. Buddy, you're in for a painful time. So, like, the only way he can stop me here is by the fact that I can't see a thing. So all it takes is one straight tier and the lag also being a problem. But like, I, like, I can't see a thing. I still have my mantle, okay. Yeah, no, I still have my mantle. I think Belly Jelly has been popping like crazy. Okay, it's over. What the fuck, man? God, my game is lagging so much, but it's it's not crashing. It's hanging on just fine. I'm out of here. <laughs> that was incredible, man. Holy crap.